Originally, I was asked to get together a group of uh, cancer patients who'd had radiation to discuss what can we do to improve the radiation experience for patients and families because proton therapy is a kind of radiation and the Australian Bragg Centre for Proton Therapy and Research is being built from the ground up. So, it, you know, ask the patients. But as a patient, no matter how useful and vivid my memories and suggestions are, I'm only just one person. And I'm a great believer in partnership between multidisciplinary clinicians and the patients and the families, that if we all work together and speak together and think together, you're gonna to get a better result. So what we've done is we've set out to interview leaders of proton therapy centres, and so far we've uh, interviewed people from the Danish Centre for Particle Therapy and Research and the Christie in Manchester, uh, the National Health Service in the United Kingdom, and also people from the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre who are offering radiation therapy, and Princess Alexandra Hospital in Brisbane who do radiation therapy. And we've gone for all the different kinds of clinicians so yes, radiation oncologists and radiation therapists, but also the nurses and the allied health staff who are so critical to both the treatment and the recovery experience, as well as talking to patients and family members. And I think by talking more broadly, we'll get more um, information for our architects and designers to use, but also for the people planning the systems, the human systems, uh, that will support people through treatment and recovery.